Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Kirby Superstar Ultra. In the last part, we finished the first half of Meta Nightmare Ultra, and now we're moving on to level 3, which is probably the Great Cave Offensive. That's what the sound's telling me. Though I'm interested if that means we are going to be fighting um, Revenge of Meta Knight, too. Which feels weird to take on Revenge of Meta Knight as Meta Knight, but I guess it's not the end of the world. This one is going to be where Meta Quick is going to be used a lot, because a lot of these areas are big open paths with the only reason to explore being the powers, uh, sorry, being the treasures, which Meta Knight does not have to worry about. I think we're just going to blast through this. The old tower is completely skippable in this one. You do not need to touch that area because well, there's no reason to. Even if they wanted you to, they don't put anything of benefit in the old tower. I guess it'd be a really good place to put a secret boss fight, but... Like, and I don't know how much it would have even been noticed because... When you're playing this one, you already know that the old tower is not really a worry. I'm gonna throw a heal down. Let's keep going. Though I do like that they did replace each treasure with food. Though, I don't know how helpful that will be in the long run. Hey, look at this tornado! Oh, it's, it's a strong sound, but even still, it works for what we need it to. Takes out most of Fatty Whale's health. And down he goes. And you're given a nice heal. Plus... Oh, I would say, these cards will be a perfect place to restore your points. They thought of that. You aren't destroying them with Meta Knight's abilities, so he's not getting points out of it. Which, I will say, very fair. Also, they, they realized that some of the doors aren't needed, so they clear out all the doors except for the correct path. So I mean, if this was possible to do beforehand, you could use this to keep in mind exactly which doors continue on for the Great Cave Offensive and which ones you should take last. But it's not super needed thanks to, well, you've probably already beaten it by that point. This one, is it the computer virus? Oh no, is this gonna be, it is starting with slime. Slime appears. And I didn't take it out. I spammed it too quickly. Starts dancing. Dance all you'd like. Puppet goes down. I can actually throw down Mouth Tornado. I want to see how much damage this does to the Magician. He has 100 to begin with, and he goes down to 0, so he does at least 100 damage. We will get another chance to test that. Then it did it. You gained 111 experience. That's helpful for him. Heroism went up by 1. Courage by 3. Dreaminess went up by 5. Your beauty went up by 2. Your coolness up by 3. Your sword, oh, the sword sharpness went up by three. Good. I was always worried that our sword sharpness was holding us back. So now that it is three points higher, we can handle anything. Though I am very happy for this part right here. We go in here and they don't even leave the doors open. They just go, you can leave. That is 
probably my favorite part of this. I feel like they could have left the doors open, gave you a place to explore. I mean, Meta Knight has a hammer, has fire, so he can get to anywhere in the old tower. Um, I guess maybe with an exception? No, because I, I feel his sword works underwater, so it would be underwater fire. Just the bottom middle. But yeah, I'm surprised more games don't do this sort of thing. Have... oh. You'd be able to go through it with an entirely new character. Because it's not like you're remaking all the assets for this. Because this is literally uh, space for space, the stages we've done before. Oh no, not Wham Bam Rock, with not enough points. It's fine, it's fine. Half health? We can handle this. Wham Bam Rock single-handedly brings the video two minutes longer. Let's heal up. I was like, crap, my health's so low, what am I gonna- oh. You have a big benefit to Meta Knight. Heal whatever you want. Also, there's no backtracking in Meta Knight Mare Ultra. The only reason we had to go as far as we did in this one is so that we could leave. We gotta make our way back up the tower, and we can take our elevator to escape. I feel like that elevator ride was made shorter for Meta Knight. I remember it taking much longer as Kirby. We don't even need a power star. We literally just go like a sweet, a star, and toss it to the side, fly off on our own. Burst out of the rock collapse that blocked the top. I know it, it happens in this, the main game too, but like, there's no place for the rocks to have come from. We're on to level four, which is gonna be interesting, because I think it's, yeah, someone stole our ship. And like they made, like this video is clearly made with Meta Knight in mind. Meta Knight, get your ship back. Yeah, thanks to the range attack of the sword, as well as just the wings, Dead Knight really doesn't have to worry about the, the big downside of a lot of these enemies are built to uh, counter Kirby. actually do destroy um, Heavy Lobster before continuing. It's weird. <laughs> you didn't have to in the original, but Meta Knight wants to show you can. It would have been better if it was time limited, but I guess they can't do a time limit while still counting time. And, oh, I would say, and they're down. Mm 
though this does give you a chance, even though you are rushing, to bet, to get another chance to enjoy the scenery. Because, like, in the last time we did this, we were actually in a time rush because you were supposed to be trying to do it as quickly as possible. That's why they had the timer on it. But now, you, you do have a timer, but it doesn't matter if it's a quick time or a slow time. If you had to get the fastest time you could, meta quick would be uh, too expensive. Because you'd have to knock out, every time you use it, four power enemies. And like in this area, there are none. Or at least very, very few. And that's kind of so Kirby is stuck without a power, so you don't get a bad power. But yeah, they still give you stone. Which, stone is not a bad power, it's just bad in this uh, use. Of course, I just use heal, and it's like, oh, by the way, we're gonna give you uh, healing. And <laughs> we're up against Whiskey Woods again. And I think this is the one that's gonna have friends. Yep, now Twin Woods. Twin Woods, however, is entirely worth it to throw a Monk Tornado. That's why I didn't throw one at that Whiskey. Take it down. And get your 10 points. Giving us a chance to fly back to our ship. Which still feels weird. Why, why do I need to fly specially to my ship? Get shot down again. The other ones I could see is like, okay, he's taking uh, the similar path to what Kirby took up to when Kirby defeated him and beyond so that he could try to train the same way Kirby did. Even though I don't think Kirby ever saw it as training, even still. Plus, it does give you another chance to find a lot of the um, hidden parts because Meta Knight is able to open up basically any of the hidden areas. He has fly, so he can take any of the secret paths as well. Which, let's speed up because. Sorry, it's taking a bit. Lots of big areas, but when we're not under like, a direct time constraint, it's not needed. And I still can't believe this is one of the few things that completely blocks you doing a powerless run. Because you need fire for that area. Everything else I think you can handle without power, except for that. Rocks have too much health, which is a weird sentence, I know. I don't know that we'll have to do the escape because, well, hopefully we don't destroy our own ship. Just to prove a point. The point is, anything Kirby can do, I can do better. I mean, it's a lot of rehashed areas. I'm a little sad about that too. It's nice to see everything again, but like we've done these all before. There's not much to really worry about. I think I showed most of the secret paths you learn in this run. Um, like as we were doing it regular, I don't even have those to fall back on. 
I definitely think it's cheating uh, for Rayman here to have extendo arms. I get you don't actually have arms, but even still, you should be limited to a range. Oh, yeah. This guy ruined my arena run. I would have loved to do that first try for you guys. But no. You can't use stone on this guy. And killed it right in time to get back all my points that I used to heal. Another benefit of uh, heal. Since you know when you destroy a boss you get 10, if you want to heal, just heal on the last hit of the boss. And then take him out without taking damage, you're going to be full health. That being said, uh, take him out without taking damage is the hard part. Actually, I don't know how you would hit these if you had no power up. I went too low. I'm like, can I go under that? Because you can see the ground around it. That, that was enough for me to go way. Also, when you die, you lose all your points. It's, uh, I guess, a good recommendation to use them all then. So I do think death by falling should be treated differently than uh, death by other methods. That's just in general. Because death by falling is not something meta quick or night call or heal can even help with. Alright, we go here, and kaboom, we blow a hole in the side of the ship. I know it's supposed to be faithful to the other one, but still, that the poor ship. This one's un unfortunately taking a little longer than expected. Oh, I should have properly healed. Oh well. Heavy Lobster Ducks Edition. Alright, thank you guys for watching this episode of Kirby Superstar Ultra. In the next part, we will... I'll be fighting the Heavy Lobster. I wish you could do damage to him now. I think it looks like you can, but there, I hit him three times. Let's see if he even has any damage by the end of it. Because we will end the part at the fight. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. He does not. He has kept his full health.